Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here. Um, this is the second graduation for Canine Cellmates, which launched earlier this year on June the 3rd. This is our second group of dogs and our second group of guys, although some of them we were lucky enough to be able to keep from the first cycle. Um, I don't know what the guys think about this program. I think I know what the guys think of this program, but I can tell you what we think about this program. This program has meant a great deal to us as volunteers. We have gotten to watch these guys in this program learn to love something that loves them, um, learn to be intuitive and empathetic toward another living being, learn to set aside their own feelings on days that they're not feeling good for, for the sake of the dog that is in their care custody. Um, some of them have, have uh, learned some great skills. Some of them have just become great dog lovers and we're happy for all of that. So kudos to you guys. We're very, very happy to be here today with our second graduation. We're very happy to have Sheriff Jackson here with us today and Chief Adger and Chief Turner and Lieutenant Colonel Lee. Um, I wanna thank Sheriff Jackson for allowing us to have this program here in this jail. We feel like this is very important. Um, we feel like the changes that happen are going to be something that are gonna carry throughout the rest of these guys' lives. Um, I happen to believe in the magical healing power of dogs. I think that dogs have the unique ability to look down inside of people and find the good that is there, even when that person doesn't know it's there. And then they have the second gift is to make that person believe it, that they are good and they are worthy um, and that they can be loved. And I think that's what this program is about is teaching people how to love and be loved, how to have confidence and believe in themselves. And if they get a skill on top of that, isn't that a wonderful thing? I think a few weeks ago, I told you that if you were able to complete this program, that we would provide you the transitional services when you get out and back into the community. Mm -hmm. We're gonna uphold that commitment to you, okay? So don't ever think that you're on your own. If you get out, get somewhere, and you need some help, got our number, we'll give you what we got, okay? And to all the other distinguished visitors and guests here today to witness this event, this is the commitment that we make to all of our inmates to one degree or another. The Fulton County Jail is not a place where we warehouse human beings, but we try to provide programs and services that's gonna aid them when they're reintroduced back into the community to make them uh, productive citizens. And for the dogs, they can understand me. <laughs> I think it's a, it's a good thing whenever we're able to do for even the lesser creatures, let's just put it that way, okay? Because we're supposed to be stewards of this world. And if all we do is allow for animals to promulgate and then have no way of caring for them, do not have an appropriate environment for them to care for themselves, and then we end up destroying them, that says something about our stewardship. And I think what we're doing here at the Fulton County Jail uh, with these dogs and all the human beings that are part of this program, one is serving the other and vice versa. So I just want to throw that out there and congratulate you guys and wish you continued success. Congratulations. Uh, to the guys here at the Fulton County Jail, this is a step uh, for you in the direction of changing your lives around. As Susan indicated, um, you may have uh, learned some things that was within yourself that you didn't know was there that you build upon. So when you leave here, you can build upon it and be progressive and positive as you go forward. So congratulations, and um, we're looking forward to bigger and better things from you in the future. All right, uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm just going to echo what you've already heard. Uh, we believe, and like the Colonel said, all of us make mistakes when we're growing up, and we need a chance and for people to care. And that's what we do in the Fulton County Jail. And we went through a, a, real, a very intensive process to get to this. So we know you can be successful. Um, and with Susan, she's been really patient. I think we started talking a couple of years ago, and a lot of us didn't believe uh, we could do this. And because we all work together, uh, a lot of things happen because this is a jail. It's a jail first, and 
we didn't know if it would work. And we have a number of programs at the jail. And this one is a little more difficult than the other programs. But through your endurance and your, as your partner said, uh, how did you put it? Um, you're forceful. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes that's what it takes when you're doing something new. And, and our program is a little different. I mean, you have to actually get certificates, not only for the dogs, but for the handlers as well. So it's something that you can use in the future. And what you've shown us that you can care and make a difference. And as the Colonel said, we're not going to give up on you. Uh, don't take it personal. We don't want you back here. Uh, we want you out where you can be productive. But if you do come back, we want you to come back and help us uh, work with others. And you've proven that you can do that. And I can just see from uh, the dogs that they gave, I mean, they're so manageable. And uh, Mrs. Steve Harvey, who I just met, you're going to adopt one. Uh, I think you're going to have a hard time. You might have to take all of them. <laughs> But it's a program and a staff, Colonel Lee. Colonel Lee, I'm sorry, you were sitting down. Did you want to say something? Sure, I would say is that again, congratulations, young man. Uh, Susan has been a wonderful uh, partnership and will continue success in the program. And for whatever we can do on either side, we look forward to working with you, I think. This is the other thing. This is a program, and as long as you're with us, we're going to continue with it. And there are times, you know, in any kind of relationship, there's going to be ups and downs, and there are times when we might be a little slow for you. Uh, but because that is a, it is a jail, so just bear with us, be patient, and maybe we can work together and you won't be as, what she said, pushy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we went from persistent to pushy. <laughs> but it, that's what building relationships is about. I mean, we have different functions, but we all want to do the same thing. And I appreciate what you've done because you've shown us that this program works. Uh, this is the second one and we're going to continue. I think the third one's already in the way. And so you've, you've proven that this works and you've set the tone. Each one's going to get better. And hopefully, whatever you need, we'll be able to help you. And if you ever come back, it's for a visit. Uh, because uh, you've proven that you don't belong here. And so we'll work with you and congratulate you. Congratulations to you, and I don't know how it's going to hurt you having to give up your best friend to someone else, but just think as you go on in life that you did make a difference. So I congratulate you for it. Thank you. Susan, I want to thank you for shepherding this program here at the Fulton County Jail. I also want to thank uh, Colonel Lee, Thaddeus Lee, who's been a partner with you and has uh, done a lot. Uh, to make sure that we continue this partnership. So I just want to thank those two individuals thank specifically. You. Thank you, Fulton County. We appreciate you. Um, and I also want to thank our volunteers, the ones that are here and the ones that are not here. Um, this, is an ex this is an extensive program. Um, we, we select the dogs through a lot of work. We do a lot of temperament assessment. You guys all know that. Um, Amanda probably temperament tests 40 to 50 dogs to find 10 to put in here. So if it wasn't for Amanda's skill set, we wouldn't have the great dogs that we have. Um, we ha our trainers, our volunteer trainers and training assistants, we couldn't run this program without them. Um, we have eight volunteer teams. We're an exhaustive program. We have an educational component where we bring speakers in to talk to our guys. We also have an aftercare component. We help these guys, the ones that give us everything they have, we help them when it's time for them to leave. We help them find jobs and housing. Devante, for anybody who remembers Devante, um, he, was our, he was our first release, or actually Anthony was our first release, and Devante was shortly after. Um, Devante had a job when he left. He had wanted to go to culinary school, so we got him a job with um, one of our partners who has a large food service contract with Delta, um, Terra Foods. They agreed to hire him part-time sight unseen. Um, I have to tell you a cute story about that. The morning that he was supposed to report to work at um, 8 o'clock, my phone rang at 6.45 a.m. and it was Devante. And anybody who knows Devante knows that he was an enormous human being, 6'9", probably almost 400 pounds, but he talked very, very softly. You had to lean in to listen to Devante when he talked. And Devante on the other end of the phone says, ah, Miss Susan, I'm here. And I said, Where's here, Devante? And he said, oh, I'm at work. I'm at Terra Foods. And I said, 
you are? And he said, yeah, I'm a little bit early. <laughs> he was so excited to go to work that he was there an hour and 15 minutes early. Two weeks ago, Tara Foods took him to full time. They love Devante. He is, he's a bright and shining star, and we are very, very proud of him.